As you're probably aware, OSHA has recently issued brand new arc flash guidance for the first time in 20 years. And the question comes up frequently, why did they do that and why now? So there is a webcast available that does a deep dive into this, but for the moment, quick answer, here's why OSHA did this. Because NFPA 70E included arc flash for commercial and industrial and residential electrical workers back in 2000, 24 years ago. And for the first eight or 10 years that that happened, that that existed, Compliance went up at almost exactly the same rate as injuries and fatalities went down, meaning it was crystal clear that the new guidance, the new standard worked. But in about 2010, that plateaued. That is to say that injuries and fatalities stopped dropping, leveled off, and continue to occur at an unacceptably high rate. So you go out into the field, you do the research, and you find out why that's happening. And the two leading causes became very apparent relatively quickly. And they are people who were choosing to work energized because it was only low voltage and they didn't think it presented an arc flash hazard or at least not enough of one to ignite flammable clothing. And people who said, we don't need any of that because we don't work energized. And so clearing up the two myths was extremely important to OSHA and should be to the rest of our safety industry because again, the vast majority of the catastrophic injuries, life altering permanently and fatalities that were occurring are occurring because of those two things. So by putting out this new guidance and focusing on those two myths and instructing people to stop doing that, to stop believing that, and to wear arc-rated clothing and other PPE, we should be able to drive injuries and fatalities in arc flash down to near zero.